Hello. We have had another update. The Libby team now are not happy with Konami, apparently. A couple of people have asked me in the comments if I would play the short message and give my thoughts on it, but I'll, I'll upload a separate video. I don't have a problem with playing the short message because it's just a demo. I don't know if these Silent Hill 2 videos are kind of giving people the impression that I don't like playing crap games. Nothing could be further from the truth. I am all about a good 3 out of 10 video game. I love playing crap, much like I uh, love watching crap. Bad Silent Hill never really kind of offended me. I remember after we had like Silent Hill 1 through 4 and then we got like Homecoming. I played Homecoming and it was kind of crap, but like I wasn't angry about it. And then Downpour came out. I never played Downpour, but I was just like, eh. Whatever, it just looks like more of the, the same outsourced mediocrity. If Silent Hill 2 Remake had never been announced, I think all of that other Silent Hill stuff that they revealed in October 2022, I probably would have been absolutely fine with it, wouldn't have cared, so long as you're not, like, you know, pissing all over one of the the good, the few good games that we did actually get originally. Like, I'm not offended by bad Silent Hill, I just, I don't want a shit version of Silent Hill 2. Which is what the remake's gonna be. But, yeah, so getting back to it. I don't know if my recent videos have given people the impression that, like, I'd never play the short message or anything like, like that. I'm never playing Silent Hill 2 Remake, I can fucking guarantee you that. Short message, the demo, like, I don't really care. So, yeah, I'm gonna go through it, I'm gonna see what it's all about. I haven't watched anyone play it, so I don't know. I've seen a couple of screenshots, I know, I'm guessing it's in first person. It's like a... <sighs> I don't know, is it kind of like the room in a sense that you're just trapped in a an apartment or something or some, or some warehouse or some shit like that? I don't know, I've just seen screenshots and yeah, I'm going to give it a go and see what it's about. Do I think it's going to affect the future of Silent Hill? No, not really. I don't think it's going to be monumentally important or detrimental. The series is just kind of, you know, ambling along regardless of the short message. Kind of the same as um, Ascension, I suppose. It is called Ascension, isn't it? Yeah, I've never watched anyone go through that either, so I might go through that myself and just have a laugh, because I hear that it's pretty funny, like unintentionally funny, and I love shit like that. So I might play through that as well. But yeah, so I'll play the demo of the short message, and then I'll upload it and just get my kind of raw reaction to it, because I have no idea what the hell the short message entails outside of a few screenshots. But in the meantime, my friend sent me a link. <laughs> Yeah, apparently Blue Team aren't very happy with Konami, and so let's have a look at this article here. So yeah, so apparently Blue Team CEO isn't happy with Silent Hill 2 Remake latest trailer, as the dev has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. The latest trailer just doesn't reflect the spirit of the game. Yeah, the um the first trailer didn't reflect the spirit of the game either. I mean, in all honesty, if there was ever a sign that the dev that was handling a hypothetical Silent Hill 2 remake was just the wrong dev then. It's the fact that they'd release two trailers, one story, one combat, and regardless of any negative criticism of the story trailer, it's the criticism of the combat trailer that they actually respond to. So let's read this here. In a recent interview, CEO of Blue Team shared some interesting details about Silent Hill 2 Remake's latest gameplay trailer, which was shown at Sony's State of Play 2024. As you might have heard, lots of fans weren't exactly happy when they saw the trailer because of outdated graphics, sending us back to PS3 times, wooden animations, and inconsistencies with the original atmosphere. To be honest, I, I, I wouldn't say that the graphics were PS3 level, the graphics were fine. Animations were bad, just in the sense that they weren't of a level that you would really hope for with a remake of a game of this calibre. Like, if it was any other fucking game, I, I I probably wouldn't care about the animations. Like, it Tormented Souls, you know? Like, I love that game. Prime example, Tormented Souls. I would happily play Tormented Souls any day of the week. I'd certainly rather play it than this fucking shit. And that game doesn't have the best animations, so... I think we need to kind of remember the context that people are disappointed with the animations of Silent Hill 2 Remake. Because it's Silent Hill 2 Remake. And what else have we got? Inconsistencies with the original atmosphere. Yes, absolutely. I don't know. I don't I don't think that the graphics of the remake are outdated. Uh, graphically, it looks fine. Stylistically, it doesn't. <laughs> During the interview, Babiano shared that he also wasn't particularly impressed when he saw the trailer at State of Play 2024 and explained that Konami, the game's publisher, is entirely responsible for all the marketing moves, meaning that the video was edited by Konami's team. 
Right. Okay. Here's the thing. Of course, it's very likely that Bluebird team have made a build of the game up to a certain point. They've made a certain version of the software. They've handed it over to Konami as like a kind of progress update, and Konami have taken that and they've made marketing material with that. And Bluebird team may be unhappy because it's an outdated version of the game. That could very well be the case, but to say that you have nothing to do with it is just... To say that Konami are entirely responsible is just absolute nonsense, because even if this is an early build of the game, it's still very much like the fucking endoskeleton of whatever the remake is going to be. So even if you have polished off the animations by the time the game releases, and the animations we're seeing in the trailer aren't exactly final, with all due respect, you're still Bloober Team, you're still not really known for making uh, well-crafted animations in games with combat. Well, you, again, you're responding to the wrong fucking feedback. Animations are just, you know, the toppings on the shit cake. I just find it funny that there's, there's trouble in paradise with this. Uh, let's go back to the article here. Quite seriously, we are not responsible for the marketing side. Well, yeah, obviously. Our partner, Konami, is entirely responsible for this. This trailer certainly does not reflect the spirit of the game. This is neither the spirit of what once was, nor the spirit of what we are creating now. There's only so much that Konami can do with that footage and then suddenly just make it appear like a completely fucking inept project. Bloober's work is all over this. And yeah, it's going to be an earlier version, but like not by much. The final game won't have really changed that much from what we're seeing in the combat trailer because just dev just doesn't fucking work like that these days everything's so much more fucking granular and whilst they can add a bit of polish to it the footage that we have seen in this trailer probably wasn't that far from the final game that was submitted and Konami have the final submitted game now so when did Konami make this trailer and why the hell would they be showing us it if it's not the final build of the game there's nothing in there with the combat that Konami added in there that Bloober Team didn't fucking make. If Konami are showcasing a not final build of the game, yeah, that's one thing, but like to pretend like you have nothing to fucking do with it when you built that version of the game, I don't really understand what the hell the point is here. Babieno also noted that those who've already seen the gameplay of the remake were pretty happy and satisfied with it. This interview is reacting to the negative feedback from the trailer. So if there are people who've already seen the gameplay of the remake and are pretty happy and satisfied with it, who are you talking about? Do does the do the opinions of these very nebulous non people really fucking matter when your audience is looking at this and going like eh? quote, we try to fully reflect this ideal vision of the game that debuted twenty two years ago. We think that when players see real gameplay, a real game, they will evaluate it in a completely different way. He added, I'm sorry, but like, was this not real gameplay? I, I, I don't fucking understand this. What are they trying to say? You cannot try and fucking like, yeah, economy of like shown off like a, a slightly early build of the game that isn't exactly final, but like, it looks pretty fucking complete otherwise, really. It's like, we're not looking at some like fucking video fucking wireframe fucking character models in environments that haven't been completed with the fucking back walls all blown out and you can just see skybox and shit. Like, the game looks pretty near fucking complete. It certainly looks near enough complete what we can expect from fucking Bloober Team anyway. And I don't really know, other than just absolute deflection, I don't really know what the hell they're trying to say here. People who've already seen the gameplay of the remake were pretty happy and satisfied with it. Who? Are you talking about Konami? Because who else would have seen it? If Konami were happy with it, They've put a trailer out. Other than a few friends you might have sent some footage to or, or something, some fellow devs from other fucking studios who, who are getting a look at this when they probably shouldn't be. Who are these people who've seen gameplay of the remake and are pretty happy and satisfied with it? I don't know. I have so many questions. A. Who are you talking about? B. Why were they happy with this combat? C. Do these people and, and does this satisfaction actually fucking exist or are you just saying it because you're uh, doing damage control? D. If these people do exist and they were happy with it, presumably you're talking about Konami and they've made a trailer out of your footage that you made. So I don't know why you're trying to fucking blame Konami for this. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yes, um, in the grand scheme of things, Konami are like at the top of the fucking the shit list here because it's their stupid fucking decision to 
remake Silent Hill 2 in the first place and give it to fucking Blueberry Team of all people. And I'm, I'm sure, yes, that you're going to make the excuse that it's an early version of the game, it's an early build, but, like, incrementally speaking, I really fucking doubt it's going to be that much, it's going to be that different from the final build. You know, you're not going to turn Silent Hill 2 into fucking MGS5 all of a sudden in, like, X amount of months from this build that we've been shown into the final build that's ready for retail release. You know, he's not going to be fucking running around like fucking Snake in MGS5 pulling off fucking tactical rolls and, well, the nurses might fucking be, but... Like... <laughs> Back to the article. In response to criticism of the graphics, he stated that the team did their best and the game will be one of the most impressive titles built on Unreal Engine that you've seen, adding that the developers used all the capabilities of this engine. The remake is set to launch on PC and PS5. As for now, the release date is still unknown, but the developers say that it'll arrive sometime in 2024. Will you have taken responsibility for what you have made by that point? <laughs> Blueberry Team is entirely fucking responsible for the footage in that trailer. You're entirely responsible for the bad combat. Now, we saw it coming, so, like, you know, you don't need to feel too bad about that. Like, we knew that you weren't going to have fantastic fucking combat. Again, not that Silent Hill 2 is built on combat. It never fucking was. So, why you're taking the criticism of this second trailer to heart and doing this interview when most of the warnings were in the first fucking trailer? Um... I don't know. But yeah, I just thought I'd um, I'd have a little rant about that because this interview just doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. It's um, damage control, trying to blame economy for shit that they are responsible for. And I mean, yes, economy don't have the good taste to be able to fucking tell the right fucking bits of footage to, to put in the trailer. Of course they don't. But it's still your fucking the source material, so you can't blame economy for that. Like, they didn't make the game fucking worse and then put it into a trailer. And I don't care if it's not the final build of the game. Because I've got a feeling that this game's going to come out and people are going to be like, hang on a minute. Yeah, this plays suspiciously like the fucking trailer did. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, the situation's just kind of funny. To be honest. I just can't help but laugh at this. So yeah, that was uh, my little update video for today. I'm going to go and play the short message. And... I'm sure I'm going to be absolutely wowed by it, but, um, okay, yeah, a couple of people have asked me to play it and see what I think. I'm going in pretty much fresh. I haven't watched anyone play it. I've seen a couple of screenshots. Um, I think it's going to be shit, but that should be funny. I don't think it's going to be as bad as Ascension by the sounds of things, but, um, it should be funny either way. All right, then, I shall see you soon once I've played this fucking crap. See you later.